new dodgeball right. game. It's, right. it's, I think it's fun. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go on to our next one. Stadia on Twitter uh, is announcing that um, you can now play with a friend, and they're also taking the beta program to be able to stream to YouTube. So those features that they were talking about when they announced Stadia are actually starting to come to light and they're starting a beta program for it so if you have a youtube channel that and you own stadia or not that you own stadia you have the the puck that's compatible for it and the controller and uh an actual game that they have on their beta program if you own a game in stadia that is being supported in their beta program you'll be able to stream it so long as they accept you for it um mm -hmm. but yeah that is the catch if you want to be able to stream on YouTube and be part of this beta program, you have to buy a game from Stadia. And that's where they lost me at that point. I yeah. was like, first, you don't have games that I should be able to play for free. Uh, and second, um, I'm not paying for a full game just to be able to play it on Stadia and get into this beta program. Yeah. But so this is, yeah, like I said, this is called crowd play. If you watch this video here, they're playing this new Olympics game. And it's like, hey, I'm streaming already to YouTube. And I have these viewers out there who also have Stadia. And now because they're actively watching me, I'm going to open a crowd play session and we all play together. Like it's right. that easy. Yeah. Um, cool. Google Stadia. Cool. Way to, way to keep adding to your service. Way to yeah. go. I mean, I don't. Yeah, it's interesting, but anybody, anybody want Google Stadia yet? Who's? I don't know. I have. I, I mean, I yeah. don't know any streamers that have this. I don't know about their viewers or anything yeah. like that. But I mean, and not this... not not just that, but <laughs> really take a look at what is it going to require, right? First, yeah. you're going to have to have a high speed internet connection to be even able to play Stadia right but now you're going to add on to uh, i don't think the bandwidth is going to come from you it's going to go directly from their virtual machine that's playing the game to youtube so then there's that mm -hmm. so now you're doing way too much on one single band or one single line of bandwidth just to be able to go stream it to youtube and you you obviously have to have a following base on youtube yeah right? yeah so they do ask the question, how many followers do you have on your channel? And it goes from like 999 to down. And then everything else is like in the thousands. So it's just like, yeah, you're, I don't know. I don't know who you're trying to target on this, but it's probably not going to be that great of a launch for yeah. this beta program. But it's so, cool, though, that they haven't gotten up, given up on Stadia. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. It's lasted longer <laughs> um, than I thought it would be. But we'll see. Yeah. So All Umbraz right. and Zero are both talk are both talking about Knockout City here. Umbraz says if you want stuff for Knockout City, Twitch has drops for it. Um, I didn't know that. That's cool. Uh, Dark Zero apparently uh, he, the way he does mechanic is GTA. He just goes into a garage and then it's fixed. Um, That's true. Knockout City is fun. It reminds me of Nintendo Dodgeball. He says I'm assuming you're talking about Super Dodgeball, uh, which is one of my favorite NES games of all time. But it's uh, Super Dodgeball. I mean, that's you know, it's not big. It's not a big 3D thing like that. But it is three on three, so that technically works. Well, technically, Super Dodgeball is six on six. You're wrong. Whatever. It's all good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, Knockout City is good. It's on Game Pass. Try it out. Yeah. 